I'd rather show you how, to, how a 200 series owner cuts wood. Have a look. Hey guys, welcome to episode 3 of the battle. And we are doing another battle series. Make sure you check out our channels. So that's mine, Dash Off Road, and Hi Steve here from Australian 4x4 Adventures. And this episode we've got a bunch of tests due to your feedback. So we're going to look at approach angles, uh, 0 to 100 speed tests, uh, there's heaps more. Anyway, let's get into it. So the first test is a departure and approach angle test and because Stephen and my cars aren't next to each other we're gonna to have to build a little rig so it's just gonna be a one meter exactly one meter piece of wood we're gonna put on a 45 degree angle and then basically just drive up to it and see what it looks like up against our tire now both our vehicles are modified so um, I think it was a good test still they're both modified we've both got similar bar work front and rear um, not a bad test uh, as you know though I can't do uh, too much work so I have a helper here so this is my helper today <laughs> my lovely wife thank you for cutting bits of wood and jigging things up out in the middle of nowhere She's so good to me. <laughs> um, I don't have a helper with me. I'd rather show you how, to, how a 200 series owner cuts wood. Let's have a look. So now we figured out how real men cut wood instead of wife 62 owners. Apparently they can't even do it, they've got to get the wives to do it. All credit to your wife, Dave, but uh, must be a patrol thing, who knows. Other than that, get into it. Um, the zero to one hundred test. Two meters this way, 75 that way. Don't know what that is, I'll work that out later and give you the angle. And that's what we did for the departure angle. But really, it doesn't matter exactly, as long as uh, we use the same model in the Land Cruiser test and we can look at them side by side, and it's relative. Uh, next one's going to be the clearance and underneath the back diff. Can a patrol or land cruiser drive over a carton of Sav Blanc without harming it? Let's see. Might be a little bit contentious, but I reckon this is fair. Dave put his directly in the centre of the car, which is the highest point on a patrol because they're IFS. Diff's tucked up nice and high, but the arms are really low. He didn't put it under the arms. So that should give me right, in my mind, 
to put mine off to one side slightly because it's avoiding the lowest part for me. So I put it off to the side and I'm clearing on the beam. If I put it in the middle, I'm going to hit on the pumpkin. Clearance is clearance. It's just taking a different line. So let's have a look, shall we? That's the same size box Dave's, Dave was using height-wise. It's a 31 centimeter high box. It fits. I'd say that's a win. Well, maybe not a win, but certainly a uh, certainly a bit of a draw. Not seeing the uh, the loss there. I think the front might be a different different story though. <laughs> we'll find out. Let's go have a look. That's not bad, it clears. Same size, plenty clearance. Okay, the ramp test. I wanna put these vehicles with ramps, diagonal opposing wheels, and see how they tackle. Uh, I'm hoping they lift a wheel off the ground and see how they tackle going up onto it. Uh, either that or they're just gonna flex and show off their flex. So let's see what happens. For the sake of it, this ramp is about 25 centimeters in height and um, let's see what happens. size to what Dave's got so we'll see how that goes I'll, I'll measure that up and put that up on the screen and you can sort of work it yourself what the difference is going to be overall all right so as I was saying before my ramps are slightly bigger than Dave's so um not a hundred percent comparable but I think I'm gonna win anyway let's have a look eh? So she had to work to get up. Definitely had to work to get up. So I hope you liked our collaboration video. Uh, the beauty of me posting on my channel is I get to have the last word. So I can say things like, if I put a set of tires on my car that had a, 
uh, two inch bigger than standard. I'd add 25 mil to those clearance heights and probably better departure and approach angles as well. Uh, if I was comparing to say one of the uh, TI or TILs, they've got the HBMC suspension, which is hydraulic, no sway bars, so that would have even more. You could argue that then Land Cruise could, could have the KDSS. We could go on forever. Anyway, put your comments below. Love to hear them. I'm hope that, uh, if you like what we do and we want to keep doing it, please help us out. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us. Give us a like as well. And if you really, really like us, um, you can also check out my Patreon. So that's for people that want to help, basically help us fund all these videos we do. It costs heaps to get all our cars and cameras and get out and taking time to do it all. So if you want to help us with that as well, I'll put the Patreon link there and um, you can help us out that way too. Anyway, cheers guys. Uh, we will keep making them. I hope you enjoy it. Here's probably another Land Cruiser owner wanting to come and talk to me about buying a patrol. Thanks a lot guys.